Hey, this is Mommy Sexual reporting for duty. And once again, we're going to be playing the game known as Madoka Magica Pure Pink Pretty Lovers. Okie dokie, so when last we left off, we basically had some very interesting options to choose from. But before I get into that, if you have yet to see the first episode of this series, I will have a link to it below in the description of this video. So check that out before watching this, otherwise you might be a little bit confused. And plus, um, there's a very interesting lesbian revelation that is revealed in the first half of this video, so you definitely want to check that out. Anyway, without further ado, as I said, we have a couple of interesting choices here. The first one is do and say nothing. The second one is, that wouldn't be so bad. And the next one is, cut it out, Sayaka. I don't like girls that way. Okie dokie, so I think between these three options, the most fun option is probably going to be, that wouldn't be so bad. So I think we're going to go with this. Okie dokie, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, uh, wait, what do I press? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I doing? Um... Oh, okay. Uh, and Psycho's like, eh? She's like, what the fuck? Hitomi looks stunned and dis- <laughs> Hitomi looks stunned and disturbed at what I had just said. <laughs> Saika quickly released me while backing away a little from me and she started blushing really red. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Okie dokie, uh, this is getting really interesting now. I, I, I was only joking around. I, I hope you didn't take what I said too seriously. Oh my god. I guess basically what we're seeing here is what would have happened in the actual anime if Madoka had responded like in a more serious way. Uh, uh well, I... I began stammering in response, not sure what to say next, as in, as in the heat of the moment, I had taken Sayaka seriously. <laughs> Poor Madoka, I'm actually really mean for making her say that, but whatever. Oh, look at the state you've put poor Madoka in. You shouldn't joke around about these sorts of topics. Then, of course, you have Hitomi, Miss Homophobe. Girls can't act that way! Oh my god! She's such a homophobe. Sorry if I gave you the wrong idea, Madoka. Your response was kind of flattering, even if I was only joking around, so don't worry about it. I'm glad you found it flattering, at least. It looks like we're already at school, so let's head to our class. So, in a way, she kind of let the cat out of the bag that she's, like, into girls. But then again, it kind of seems like uh, Sayaka and Tomi are kind of playing it off, so... I don't know. Let's see what happens. I replied to Sayaka while failing to hide a sense of dejection in my voice and finding it hard to make eye contact with her. Oh, boy. Yeah, things are going to be awkward from this moment forward. But what are you going to do? You got to let those feelings out, people. Right. With that, I tried to forget about what came of my response to Sayaka as it was pretty awkward. It was silly of me to think that Sayaka might really like me or any girl that way. After all, she's had a crush on Kami Jo for a very long time. I'll have to keep that in mind from now on. Anyway, it's time to get to class. Poor Madoka. Okie dokie, now, now here's somebody that, um, I wonder if she would answer Madoka's feelings. What do you guys think? I mean, I guess there's a possibility because, like, she's had a lot of bad relationships in the past, so, like, maybe she's the type that would warm up to, like, a girl because she's had such, like, bad experiences with men, but I could be wrong. The school morning started off pretty well as Sayatome Sensei 
talk about egg and eggs and guys in in a pretty funny way. I felt a bit I felt a bit badly about how her latest relationship clearly hadn't worked out for her, but some of my classmates and I couldn't help but be amused with the way she hinted at all that. See, uh, yeah, she has, it's like the way that she like teaches her class, she, in a way she kind of like exposes what goes on in her actual life, like I, I guess, but I guess in a way she's kind of trying to teach like the kids values, or, or she could just be venting, I could be reading too much into it. Satomi Sensei then introduced the class to a new transfer student. Now here's somebody who's probably going to answer Madoka's feelings. The new transfer, the new, the new transfer strode into the classroom with such impeccable grace and style. The entire class was immediately in awe of her, and I had to admit that I was too. Her long dark hair flapped behind her like a majestic flag in the wind. She was only a teenage girl like I am, yet she walked with such confidence like she was already a successful career woman. That's kind of true. Psych, uh, not psycho. What the fuck? Uh, he, uh Homina did kind of have like a little strut about her. You know what I mean? I, I suppose you could also view it as arrogant, but 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 we'll say mature. Wow, she's hot. Psycho, you have a lot of nerves saying that after you rejected Madoka. I mean, seriously, seriously. She definitely did seem very hot, oh god. <laughs> but then, I recognized something even more important than that. This new transfer student was the same one as the girl I saw in my dream last night. She stated that her name was Homura Akimi. She then finished writing her name on the board and bowed with such picture-perfect politeness. Pleased to meet you. After the class gave her a quick but earnest applause, I was caught completely off guard by Homura looking directly at me. It made me feel very embarrassed and shy. Well, I certainly can relate to that feeling. When I was in school, I was pretty shy, so I can relate to that. Why had this girl appeared in my dreams? Why was she focusing on me like this? I'm so ordinary looking compared to her. I felt much more at ease at I felt much more at ease after Homura took her seat and four of my female classmates started to flock around her desk asking her a lot of questions. There was a lot I wanted to ask her myself, of course, but I knew that my questions would just make me seem weird, so I decided not to approach her. He told me Sayaka and I chatted a bit about Homura, but not for long as Homura stood out of her desk and started walking toward me. So this is pretty much like following the, the same path of the anime at this point. Madoka Kaname, you're the class monitor, correct? Um, I responded as I struggled to find the words to say this wondrously mysterious girl bring me to the nurse's office i just love how she like demands it instead of like asking like instead of just being like blind be like can you please bring me to the nurse's office She's like bring me to the nurse's office looks like i might have messed up there i followed behind homura as we walked toward the nurse's office I could sense the eyes of so many fellow Mikihara students focusing on us, but mainly on on Homura, of course. It made me feel even more uncomfortable. Still, I tried to put all that out of my mind as there were some questions I wanted to ask Homura. Um, how did you know I was the, I was the class monitor? Okie dokie, so I decided just to randomly switch locations. I I'm kind of trying something new with the scenery in case you guys haven't noticed. That's why I'm outside rather than like in the house. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Dot, 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 dot. Miss Satomi told me. Oh, well, the nurse's office. 
But before I could finish, Homura had made the correct turn without needing any direction from me. The very first time I saw that scene in the anime, I was like... Here, right? Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect you to know where it was. But Homura said nothing to that and just kept walking. Homura seemed so interesting. I wanted to talk with her more. So after a tense pause, I forced myself to say more to her. Akemi-san? Akemi Call me Homura. Homura- Homura-chan? What? Nani? Well, uh, um, that's an unusual name. That didn't come out quite right. I didn't want her to take it as an insult, so I sought to make it clear what I really meant. I mean, not like it's weird or anything. It's just cool. After I said that, Homura suddenly stopped and swiveled around to face me. That forced me to stop as well. Madoka Kaname. Do you value the life you live? Are your family and friends dear to you? Those questions almost overwhelmed me. They were so unexpected and yet I love my family and friends deeply. That's what I instinctively wanted to say so as to leave no doubt as to my feeling for them. Interesting. Is he going to say something else? Still, a small part of me couldn't help but focus not on what my answer should be, but how bizarre and kind of inappropriate the questions were. Was Homura testing me with them? Was this her way of trying to determine if I'd be a good and faithful friend for her? Or was this some kind of veiled, veiled insult? Interesting. I don't recall Monica being like the overthinking type. So, so this is definitely the uh, fan fiction side uh, coming into play here. All of these thoughts raced through my mind really quickly, but I had to respond soon. Okie dokie. Um, my family and friends. I'm just going to read through all the little options here. My family and friends. Of course they are. I love them and care deeply for them. B, my family and friends, of course they are. I promise you, Homura-san, that I value you a lot as a friend too. I'd love to be friends with you. My friends, my family and friends, of course they are. But why are you asking me questions like those? After you just met me, don't you think that's a bit strange? Let's see here. Um, Which option sounds, okay. My family and friends, of course they are. I love them and care deeply. I think I'm going to go with the, the second one. My family and friends, of course they are. I promise you, home and a son, that I value you a lot as a friend too. Okay, I'll go with B. That seems the most interesting, so... Let's go with B. Maybe I was imagining things, but I think Homura actually blushed a bit over my answer while wavering her hair to the side. M Miss Hair Flip. I can't actually do it, but you guys get what I'm, what I'm referencing. While waving her hair to the side with one hand, she, she say, However, I'm not interested in making any new friends. I'm content with what I already have now. Typical cold homoda. Of course she would say something like that. Then again, maybe she's being Sundara in this particular scene. Possibly. I see. I said, wondering if this is how a a person feels after a love confession <laughs> results in a rejection. Uh, that's kind of extreme, but in a way that that kind of is what's just happened here. You should also be content with what you already have. Be weary of people trying to befriend you, particularly if they make offers and promises that sound too good to be true. If they sound like that, they probably are too good to be true. 
that's actually a good real life lesson actually not just in this anime but this relates to real life definitely and with that homoda walked away from me and towards the nurse's office I myself started walking back towards the classroom. I had a lot to think about given the dreams I had lately and what Homura said to me. I couldn't help but feel that today would end up being pretty eventful. I wonder what would happen next. Oh, I can save my progress. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see here. How do I save? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna save. Uh... Actually... You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop the game here. Okie dokie, so uh, I shall catch you guys in the very next episode. Let me know what you think of the series so far, and yeah. And also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel for Madoka Magica content. I upload videos every single Friday. And my goal is to create the most active and engaging Madoka Magica community on the internet. And I also want to enrich your experience with Madoka Magica in a way that nobody else ever has. Okie dokie, so I'll still catch you guys later. Peace out.